Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. This is your number one stop for Siberian Husky tips, tricks, and training information. Do you guys need to know anything about Siberian Huskies? Well, you guys have made it to the right place. Looks like we got the squad all just chilling right here. Happy New Year, everybody. We got Britney Spears on the left, Rue smushed up in the middle like an Oreo, and we got Gila all the way on the right right there. Oh, the New Year was good. And to be quite honest with you, we all just slept right through it. Everyone was like, dude, we're so tired. 2019 just, yeah, exactly. It made us wanted to leave. Get it, lady. Get that scratch. Yeah, that's a good girl. Can you speak? No, that's just taking a breath. Can you speak? There you go. Good girl. Yeah. Crunch that munch. What up, Ruby Tuesdays? How's it going? What's up? What you doing today? Doing anything cool? Like sitting on this couch? Relaxing and sleeping like you do every day? Do you want a dog bone? Yeah, it's, it's a milk bone for doggies. I'm gonna let you have it if you want it. What's wrong, you don't like it? <laughs> look at that look he's giving me. Like, how dare you? On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about three things that you should never ever do to a Siberian Husky. Now, I'm not saying that Siberian Huskies bite on the regular. In fact, they very rarely bite or are aggressive at all. But there are some things that can entice a Siberian Husky to lash out, become frustrated or aggravated, and they may even nip at you. So we want to avoid those situations. And in today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys exactly how to avoid those situations by telling you what Siberian Huskies dislike the most. And some of these things, you wouldn't even even think about it. You'd be like, whoa, I, I never thought of that junk. So if you got kids at home and you're thinking about getting a Siberian Husky, you may want to watch this video so you know exactly what to teach your children whenever you're bringing home one of these beautiful, amazingly hilarious dogaroni pizzas. So come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula Yes, where we find out three things you should never ever do. You should never be doing to a Husky man. I know you ready, my friend. Tell everybody you're ready, man. Say it. <laughs> That's a good girl. You want to treat, don't ya? Give me paw. Good girl. Can I get the nose boot? Can I get the nose boot? Alright, Rue, you wanna get us started into today's episode? You wanna like break the ice for everybody so we all get ready, dude? He's like, bro, this is an episode about huskies, man. Wise up and make an episode about little orange kitty cats. Then maybe I'll do some stuff. All right, so busting right into number one, numero uno, when it comes to things that you should not do to Siberian Huskies. Now, number one is basically the mistake that every single person makes. And it's not only with Huskies, it's, it's basically with every single breed. Whenever you see a Husky out there, the first thing you wanna do is go up to him and be like, wow, this is the cutest dog I've ever seen. I wanna pet it on the head. But that's the worst mistake that you can make. The first thing you should do whenever you meet a Siberian Husky is take your hand and place it out like this. This lets them smell you and see exactly what you're presenting them. You're letting them know like, hey, I don't have anything in my hand. I'm not being quick or harmful. So, you know, get used to my smell. Then the best place to pet them is kind of by their ear, like right here or by their neck. They really like to get pet kind of by their face where they can see what's going on. The problem with petting them on their head, which is the number one place everyone wants to pet them right off the bat, is that they can't see your hand when it goes behind their eyes and they don't know what you're doing. So watch, so many times kids go up to Huskies and they go like this, uh, and they pull back and they go, uh, 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 uh. Uh, see, the dog is trying to see what your hand is doing. They don't feel comfortable with you putting your hand over their head where they can't see. And a lot of times this establishes a weird, awkward relationship right off the bat. So start out with just letting a husky smell your hand, lick it, and if they like you, then go ahead and pet them, you know, right there next to their face on their cheeks. And if they feel comfortable, then you can make your way up to their head. You see how he didn't really bat an eye when I moved up there this time? But whenever I take my hand and I just come forward and I go above his head, he always goes up. And a lot of kids are very nervous to, you know, touch a dog. So when a dog does that, they pull back really fast. So just remember, whenever you are petting a Siberian Husky for the first time, let them sniff your hand. Good girl, good girl. There you go, that's a good boy. And then start petting next to where they can see, preferably on the cheek 
or next to the ear. The worst place to do is just reach your hand out and just be like, oh, I'm asking, blah, 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 blah. This is a good way to get bit by a dog that you aren't familiar with. So numero uno is going to be never put your hand above a Husky's head when you're introducing yourself to them. If you're familiar with the Husky and you've known them for a while, might not be a bad idea. You're probably in the clear, but if it's a dog you've never met, especially a Husky, be sure you put your hand out just like this, like I said, and then, you know, go ahead and give them the treat because it being a good buoy. Going into number two, the second thing that you should never do, I know Siberian Huskies look floofy. They have this crazy tail that kind of curves up in the back and it looks like the floofiest fluffiest tail that you've ever seen in your life but one thing you don't want to do and you definitely don't want little kids to do is to go up and grab that tail and tug on it or play with it <laughs> she's already like um excuse me uh why did you pull on my butt bell I'm like, sorry lady, I know, you don't like it. Siberian Huskies really don't like their tails to be messed with, and I know it's so hard. The number one thing that you wanna do when you're looking at a floofy, majestic creature like this is go up and, you know, kinda mess with their tail a little bit. But look, see, she's like, no, sir, I did not give you the permission in the go-ahead to touch my booty. So be sure that you're discouraging little kids from messing around with a Husky's tail. I know it looks enticing to play with, I know it looks comfortable, but really they are going to get aggravated and possibly lash out at you if you start messing around with their junk. And I can't blame them. I mean, if someone was pulling on my hair or pulling on my shirt or my pants while I was trying to get stuff done during the day, I'd be like, dude, you better stop, bruh. Oh yeah. And by the way, you guys want to see some crazy junk? It's only been three days. I think I taught her how to spin the day before yesterday. Spin. <laughs> Good girl, that's my good princess. You are so smart. Oh, what was this? Is that a spin? That was good. Come, <laughs> spin. Good girl, that's my princess. There you go, three days and she knows how to spin. I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm a good trainer or anything, but dang lady. You must be the smartest doggo alive. I don't, I don't know. And the very last thing, number three, the last thing you ever want to do is sneak up on a Siberian Husky when they're napping or sleeping and go up and just touch them anywhere. When Huskies are sleeping and they're in their comfortable zone, if you go up and you just start messing with them, especially if you're a stranger and you don't know them well, that Husky's not going to like it very much. And this kind of goes for any dog, really. Any dog that is sleeping, if you go up and you like mess with them and stuff, look at her eyes. She's already just like, listen, bro. <laughs> so just keep in mind when Siberian Huskies are snoozing, they're dreaming about things, crazy stuff. And if you go up and interrupt that dream or that nap, well, it becomes a possibility that you might get nipped or bit. So just make sure that you don't ever do that. And that goes for me too. If you ever see me sleeping in bed, don't ever come up and mess with me because I might bite you too. So those are the three things that you should never do to a Siberian Husky. It's a good way to prevent any bites or unwanted nips. <laughs> Look at Hila back there. She's like, I need to be in the camera. I can't stand when you film Rue. I, I want to be the star of the show. Those of you out there who have young ones at home, it's a good idea to heed these warnings because it's not that Siberian Huskies are aggressive. In fact, they're not even a little bit aggressive. But if you do some of these things, which sometimes if you interrupt the dog's sleep, or if you grab their tail, or if you pet them in the wrong spot before you're familiar with the dog, it may cause them to feel uncomfortable and lash out. So just keep these things in mind. It's a good way to keep your house safe. If you guys had a good old time today, be sure to smash that like button down below and hit subscribe so you don't miss any more Huskaroni Pizza episodes. If you guys have any questions about Husky training, go ahead and visit our subreddit linked down below in the description. And we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yep, you guessed it. Good girl. Whatever we do make yeah peace